YouTube and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to talk about my sinking funds. Sinking funds, saving goals, in the way I budget, uh, sinking funds and saving goals, they, they're not really separate. So, but you're gonna, I'm gonna show you in this uh, video. Uh, in the last video, you, sh you saw my uh, February budget. So, that one is done. So, on the side right here. So, in the page, next page, I always write down my saving goals or my sinking funds. Again, I'm Dutch, so I'm writing everything down in Dutch, but I'll explain everything in English so you'll understand. Okay, first we're gonna write down. What I'm writing down is saving goal. And Not doing this right. Oh no! <laughs> Who else hates these things? Right. Come on. Why doesn't this work? Well, this gotta do. This is. My starting balance then I'm gonna write down a plus and a minus for this month and then the amount see what we added if we used any money and then we come to a total and total okay so my saving goals of course are the same as the one I that I wrote right here so first of all that is my emergency emergency fund or buffer as I call it then uh, I have my savings account to make extra extra payments towards the mortgage. Oh wait, I'm gonna put my uh, beginning total. The starting amount. Uh, my emergency fund is 9,390 euros and 71 cents. So I'm getting really close to um, my end goal, which is 10,000 euros. So I hope this month I'll reach that goal, but I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let me see then my savings account which I use to uh, make extra payments towards the mortgage is 844 euros and 71 cents each month I add an, ex an extra 175 euros uh, to this account. So on the end of this month, I'll reach a thousand euros. And when I reach that thousand euros, I make an extra payment towards our mortgage. So this is exciting. Clothes. So this would be considered more like a sinking fund. Every month. I 
budget 75 euros for clothes and at the moment there is a hundred and thirty six euros and seventy cents on this account then vacation at the moment or at the start of this month 452 euros and 70 cents then I have some investments I always keep track of those two that is 618 euros and 39 cents and then I have our saving jar and that is 85 euros and 20 cents good I'm gonna add everything up total Oh, wrote it in English. <laughs> Where is my big calculator? Oh, like this. Okay, so, um, like this, right, like this. Nine, three, plus eight, four, four. is 11,000 528 euros and 41 cents right so this is really exciting that this is over 10,000 euros then I always do a transaction, a transaction log, transaction log, right? So in this column, I'm going to write uh, the name of the saving account, uh, saving account or uh, the sinking fund. Then here goes the date. This is the amount and here I'm writing down what I bought or why extra money was transferred. A description of uh, the transaction. Yes, that was it for this video. My budget planner looks for the month of February. February looks like this right now. This one's still empty. This will be for our next video. The budget. And on the next page, there are my saving goals and sinking funds. So. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you all soon in another video. Uh, if you like this, please like the video and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Bye.